Mr. Josh, and today I'm going to tell you one of the coolest stories in the world. It's a story so good, it'll make you want to... Today's story is all about traveling to the moon, which kids all across the world dream about doing when they grow up. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to walk on the moon? Well, it's a lot different than walking here on Earth. In fact, only 12 people have ever gotten a chance to do it. Hey, the moon is much smaller than the Earth, which is why you would feel five times as light on it. In fact, you'd be able to jump five times as high on the moon. Isn't that amazing? In today's story, we'll learn how else the moon is different than Earth. So come on, let's get started. You may be wondering why I'm wearing this space helmet. And it's because when I was a kid, I dreamed of going to the moon. <laughs> I would look through my telescope and I would see some of the coolest things in the world. Or should I say, out of this world. I can see everything through this telescope. I see the moon, and it's 239,000 miles away. The moon has craters and mountains, and it's super hot when the sun's out and super cold when the sun goes down. Hey, Mr. Circus, do you want to look? You're in for a treat. You see all those craters and mountains? And how everything looks great? Wouldn't it be great to go there one day? Okay, okay, my turn. Astronauts have to be really smart to make it to space, which you can do too by reading books and doing good in school. We'll see how two bears and their puppy made it to space in today's story, On the Moon, by Stan and Jan Berenstain. Let's get started. On the night before the bears' big day, they look at the moon, far, far away. Then morning comes. Today is the day they will go to the moon, far, far away. The crowd counts down, the rockets blast. They wave goodbye, they're off at last. Two little bears and one little pup. They're off to the moon, going up, up, up. They look back down, but they can't find their treehouse home. They've left it far behind. Where's their town? It is hard to say. Their town is now far, far away. Now their feet no longer touch the ground. They're out in space. They float around. Two floating bears and their floating hound. Up ahead, it's a shower. It's a meteor shower. They will have to go through, turn on more power. Will they get to the moon? They will, they must. Their slogan is, to the moon or bust. Behind them, the Earth is now so small, it is nothing more than a small blue ball. The pup begins to wonder when his paws will touch the Earth again. Then up ahead, it's there, the moon. Buckle up tight, we are landing soon. Landing, they are landing in a cloud of dust. They said they would, 
and they said they must. They made it to the moon and they didn't bust. Down onto the old moon they stepped with pride, two bears and a pup along for the ride. Now the bears have many things to do, but first they look around, they enjoy the view. Then they fly their flag, they take moon notes, they collect moon rocks in their moon rock totes. Then they try some jumps high in the sky. Moon jumps almost make you fly. Now it's time to get behind the wheel and explore the moon in their moon mobile. Two bears on the moon, they are all packed up, ready to go home now, so is their pup. Will their ship lift off? Will the rockets burn? Will these two little bears and their pup return? If the two little bears use all their skill, they will return. They will. They will. Two bears and their pup in their rocket ship on their way back home on their back to earth trip. To their friends on the ground, to their house, safe and sound. Safe back on the earth, they step out of their ship. Wow, say the bears, that was quite a trip. Now they look up at the stars, very, very far away. Will they go up to a star? Well, they may, someday. The end. Sometimes it may seem easier to pick up your phone, tablet, or just watch cartoons on TV more than read a book. But did you know that reading has lots of cool benefits? It helps your brain grow. It also helps spark your imagination so that you become a creative thinker. So give it a try. Pick up a book. And if you have any trouble, you can come see me, Mr. Josh, who will be reading lots of cool stories all the time. See you soon. Readers are leaders.